Another young victim in the news tonight, the youngest of the 11 murdered women found buried on the West Mesa. Police today released a sketch done by a forensic artist. News 13's Maria Medina talked to the police chief about what it will take to identify the last four women. Jessica, investigators have said all along the more women they ID, the better chance they have of finding the killer. They're hoping someone out there sees something in this sketch that can lead investigators to her true identity. It's the face that could solve the West Mesa mystery. The face of Jane Doe number seven, the youngest of 11 women found buried nude on Albuquerque's West Mesa. And help us identify this still unknown victim. She is among four still unidentified. Oh my says they're hopeful they can do another facial reconstructive sketch on one of the women. But they're not so sure about the other two unidentified victims. Their bones were moved and broken by time and the construction of homes out in the West Mesa that their skulls may not be complete. Investigators may have to rely on IDing those victims through DNA. Have you guys gotten any recent leads? Well, we continue to receive leads uh, because of the national exposure of this case. It gets, isn't it? It is. Lots of... And it's the national exposure, like America's Most Wanted, which has aired the investigation on its show, that investigators hope continues because they believe Jane Doe number 7 isn't from New Mexico. We know we still have four victims who need to be identified. And one of the things we said from the very beginning is we continue to identify more and more victims. We can find out where their lives crossed paths. Eventually, all of those women are going to point to one suspect. And, and investigators say this victim was African-American, likely in her mid-teens to early 20s. She had these acrylic nails and light brown wavy hair extensions. The autopsies of the seven identified women determined they were murdered, but investigators couldn't say exactly how. Jessica? All right, Maria, Albuquerque police spoke to prostitutes during the state fair and balloon fiesta and say they were given street names and first names of women that had been missing for a while. Police say they're following up on those leads. But where exactly are they on the search for the killer? Chief Schultz was not in an exactly mood today, but he did say there are only a handful of suspects. He didn't give a specific number, but said some are dead, others in prison. Well, we asked specifically about Lorenzo Montoya. Montoya lived in the South Valley, not too far from the West Mesa scene. In 2006, he strangled a young prostitute in his home, then was shot and killed by her boyfriend, who had come to pick her up and discovered Montoya getting rid of the body. Have you guys ruled out Lorenzo Montoya at all? I'm not going to say anything about anybody that we've ruled in or out, in or out at this time. Just that uh, the investigation continues and uh, we'll put together the best case we can. What Chief Schultz did say was that the West Mesa suspects are from all over the country.